Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video and I did give a sneak peek on my latest haul that I picked up from Versace in my Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I post a lot of things, what I do, what I eat mostly, and all of the things I want to show you that I think you might find interesting. So definitely follow me on Instagram and welcome. If you're new here, I wanna make sure I cover all things luxury, a couple of random topics here and there, but all in the name of somehow adulting and less than retail. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing today. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do have an opportunity to visit a Versace outlet, highly encourage it. I'll just get right into it. This is not my first time at the Versace outlet. I did do a previous video, if you haven't checked that out, my other haul from Versace. And it's really interesting because I never thought I would be really into Versace and their products because it tends to more lean towards more flair, more flamboyant, very loud in general, which is not typically my style, but I've been really liking some of their products here. And obviously I picked the ones that are a little bit more simple, a little bit more quiet. Um, so again, enough yapping here. Let me go and in right into unboxing. So the first unboxing is going to be, so this is going to be the Versace hobo bag. I took my mom to the outlets here in Chicago and we stopped by the Versace store. We spent forever there uh, and I have a wonderful essay that was very helpful, very nice. And we found this particular bag for my mom. I was texting my friend about it and she's like, oh, it's perfect. Your mom loves that bag and you can get it for her for Mother's Day. Of course, I didn't think about Mother's Day. Um, so I'm like, yes, great idea. Of course, I'm going to claim it as my own idea. Yes, mom. This is for your Mother's Day present and your birthday present or whatever. So my mom's pretty low key. She doesn't like anything um, flashy. She doesn't like to be carrying like super uh, brand name designer bags or anything. I recently bought her a Bottega crossbody that she actually really liked because it was the perfect shape. And she's a tiny little lady. She's like 5'1", five, 5'2". Uh, unlike me, I don't know what happened. I'm, she popped out a 5'8 girl, but <laughs> uh, she really liked the moss green color. And she also has a tendency of looking at my bags and wanting to just use my second, I guess, hand-me-down, so to speak. Uh, but, you know, she's my mom. I'm going to buy her something new, right? Past ones I've had her use was the Bally's, and she, apparently she used that to shred, which makes me incredibly heavy. I had to like, explain to her the concept of cost per wear. Like the ma the thing that makes me the most mad about buying her stuff is that she, I buy buy her a nice bag, and she wants to just leave it in the closet. Oh, it's only for special occasions. Like no, mom, you need to use this. Get the cost per wear down. I had to like make sure she understand what that concept means, and she's like, oh, okay, I can accept that. So. Anyways, um, those are the most recent two bags I bought her. And then when she saw this one, she was actually very intrigued. She's like, ooh, this is a very nice low key, uh, you know, V right here. And then the rest of it is very simple and plain. Um, she also really liked the size of it. So you can see it's a hobo bag with a top handle so she can wear over her shoulder. And then on the back, again, very simple, straightforward with just uh, the logo right here at the bottom. It comes with a long crossbody strap, which I love because it is adjustable. So for her uh, smaller height, it, it can be adjusted so that it's not sitting super low or super high. And what you can do is just, I'm not going to do it right now, but you can clip it here and then also have the versatility of using both the long strap or the shoulder strap to whatever situation um, that she's in and makes it a little bit more convenient. The inside of it, the inside of it is just um, very spacious. I got my flashlight here so you guys can see pretty uh, clearly. The inside of it is going to be very spacious, um, just an empty compartment. And then on the inside, there is one little pocket right there where she can put cards or whatever. And it did come with some paperwork. And then there's a tag right here. And you can see there is um, its logo. And I think this is part of their uh, QR code and authentic authentication um, 
I guess, you know, tags and whatever. What's nice about this is not, it's just not an open tote or open hobo bag. It actually comes with magnets, right? You remember how I was talking about my previous video with the Advene uh, age bag where the magnets are protruding Whereas this one, it makes it much more luxurious because the magnet is built into the leather. And then when you decide to close it, it just suctions close, which is very nice. So per usual, I do have the card holder from Dress Up Your Purse as well as the Dior cosmetic pouch. So I'm gonna fit that in here as well as the card holder and then an iPhone 10. And as you can see, there's plenty of room to put anything else you want in there. If you want to put a water bottle in there, you can definitely do so. And I know my mom has this uh, little thermos and it's like a kid size. It's like this tall and this tiny. She can easily stand it up on the side of the purse. So I think this is the perfect combination and for her to instantly say yes i love this bag i knew it was something i had to buy for her so talking a little bit about the weight i do want to show you with the strap how much it weighs and it comes out to be 1.1 ounce which is incredibly light for an all leather bag the interior at the bottom here is going to be fabric, which I think it contributes to how light this weight or how light this bag is going to be. And then of course, for my international friends, it is going to be, let's just say 500 grams. And by the way, if you are enjoying this content, let me know, hit that like button and subscribe so that you can see all of the greatest deals that I've been looking at or purchasing in the hauls so that you can take advantage of those deals as well again. Remember, less than retail, right? So going back to it. I also find it interesting because when I was looking up um, Versace's website and a lot of their bags are not named, right? Like if you look at Louis Vuitton, if you look at YSL, all of their bags have very specific names. It took me forever to find one um, online that is going to be the same exact item and they just call it the Versace Leather Hobo Small Bag, which is kind of odd and I was looking at the receipt it also said the same thing hobo small bag and that's it they don't have a specific name for this not that I know of or I can see so talking a little bit about pricing just so you're aware uh, this bag came out to be about $550 plus tax um, which is 10% in, in the state of Illinois so after taxes, it's going to be about $600, which I think is amazing because this is a full leather bag um, that is made in Italy and it's designer. Uh, so I think that was a pretty good deal. The original retail price from this, from, from what I could find, was $18.95. It did go over to sex off and it was marked down to about $1,000. And then now, now it's at the Versace outlet. And they were actually listed at $7.95, but they were doing a promotion. If you spend, you know, $500, it's like 15% off. If you spend over, you know, $1,000, it's 30% off, like different increments. So that's why I was able to get this at a 30% off because, which leads me to my next item here. This is something I got for my friend in Nashville. She's been looking for a card holder and... She has an adorable dog. If you haven't seen her Instagram of her dog, Tinker is judging you. I'll link that down below. Go ahead and give her a follow. She's got re a really adorable dog that has so much personality, so go check her out. And this is the card holder that she had me buy for her, which put me over that $1,000, which is why both items were 30% off. This is a, a gorgeous blue leather, and it's pretty straightforward, I think. It's actually uh, quite... It's just as versatile, I want to say, with the Louis Vuitton uh, key pouch, where this one has a couple card slots in the back, whereas the Louis Vuitton one doesn't. And then in the middle, you can put more cards or coins or cash or whatever in, is inside. So if you're just looking to grab and go and you don't want to carry anything, you can easily put this in your pocket. 
and of course it's made in Italy. So not too much to say about this, but this is going to be a grain leather. And then you can see the Medusa logo here, which is gorgeous. Um, and of course, if you wanna strap a couple keys on here, it's going to be pretty versatile. The one thing I will say that it is going to be one of these class, like the lobster class, whereas the Louis Vuitton one is going to be a little bit different where it's much harder to undo so that your key won't fall out. So that's the biggest difference. So this one was listed at $200. And then after the 30% discount, it was about 175. And then of course you got a plus tax to that. Uh, I think it ends up being like 190 something. So overall, it's a really good deal. So hopefully this was helpful. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I want to help you cover topics that will help you adult easier. Life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can live your best life and hopefully less than retail. I'll see you next time.